Hey, BZB Gear fam. My name is Matt Richards. I'm one of the videographers with uh, BZB Gear. As you can tell, I've got a little bit of uh, holiday goodness over there. We are talking about the holidays. We are going to be diving straight into great holiday tech ideas that might be flying under your radar. Uh, I've got some of the BZB Gear marketing team to kind of talk to uh, with me about that. But first, I want to mention we are doing a little bit of a, of a giveaway, so please go ahead and stick around. Uh, if we reach about, I want to say, 50 viewers or so, that's about when we're going to start looking to start giving some stuff away. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. We've got a whole lot of really, really cool stuff to talk about. So I'll go ahead and bring in my friends here, uh, Joel and Trayvon. How are you guys doing today? Well, well, very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. That's good to hear. So we've got a whole lot of ground to cover in terms of what we're going to be talking about today with holiday gifts. Uh, did I miss anything in the intro that you guys want to cover real quick before we dive into this? Um, no, just, uh, you know, greeting everyone uh, after the long Thanksgiving, uh, you know, holiday break. Ho uh, hope your minds and your bodies are uh, caught up already uh, from the long uh, <clears throat> relaxing uh, holiday. Hope uh, you all have uh, finished your leftovers. Uh, do you have any leftovers? Oh, um, no, all my yeah, okay. <laughs> we just barely finished ours. So uh, uh, I think my, my dad, he always makes like this uh, dish with the leftover uh, turkey. So I, I have yet to uh, uh, go to their house, have the grand, you know, have have them see their grandkids. So, you know, um, it's but, a little bit like the Christmas story, turkey hash, turkey sandwiches, yeah. <laughs> turkey soup. Yeah, dude. Uh -huh. We uh, we don't have any left. We don't have any stuff left. Uh, that all got eaten up real quick. It was a little bit of an extended family dinner here in Texas, so that was really nice. But uh, let's go ahead and dive straight into this then. I mean, I'm glad you guys had a good holiday season. Um, but speaking of holiday seasons, what comes after uh, Thanksgiving? Usually Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So I myself secured a few good things, but that's not to say that the good deals are over Good deals are still going to continue to be around, especially, uh, and this is the, the field that I picked, PC components. So, uh, for example, this is some DDR5 RAM. I picked this up for under $200. If you uh, don't know, DDR5 is kind of the newest uh, adoption of RAM uh, back from DDR4. But because we are moving on to DDR5, that means DDR4 RAM is very, very low in terms of price. Uh, you also are looking at really good CPU prices uh, because of the great competition with the release of the 7th uh, series with Ryzen and the 13 series for Intel. That means that older CPUs are great deals at the moment. And uh, not to be left out, if you do any sort of uh, productivity work, especially in this field, SSDs are a great way to go. They're going to be faster. They last longer. And of course, they're usually a little bit more reliable. So that being said, this is a newer gen, but like we've been talking about here, because everything is moving on to the next generation with the new motherboards, new sockets, all of that stuff, great prices on older SSDs, especially NVMe drives. And I'd be remiss if we didn't talk about graphics cards. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've been playing a little bit of the new Call of Duty. Uh, and yeah. part of playing the new Call of Duty, you know, it's it's... Kind of being uh, real, real hard on my system. So that's part of what's motivating me to upgrade. Um, also, you know, it, it's good for productivity as well. It means that I can get work done faster. So graphics cards, because the crypto mining crash happened, uh, it sucks for people that invested in cryptocurrency, but it's great for gamers and productivity alike. So if you're looking into breaking into the PC market, now is a bet. Like it, it's one of the best times to break into it in the last, I don't know, probably five or seven years. So we'll go ahead and move on. Those are my picks for uh, just general tech uh, ideas to be looking at. We're going to have a little bit of a special section coming up here about BZB gear, but I'll hand it over to Joel and Trayvon now. Um, all right. Should I start off? Yeah, um, go ahead, Joel. All right. Well, before we start off again, you know, just to uh, reiterate, we do have a giveaway today for our HDMI capture card, the BG Cap HA. Um, so, yeah, if we do reach 50 viewers today, um, we will be giving that away. So, you know, go tell your friends, your colleagues, tell them to hop on right now. 
uh, either via you know YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, uh, whichever uh, platform you choose, uh, you will be able to see us. Just go to our uh, company page, BZB Gear, and we are live right now. So um, yeah, so just get your friends and colleagues to come over to our channel. Uh, right now, but uh, so we picked the three best that I thought would be uh, the best for uh, you know 2022 um, holiday seasons. Trayvon did the same as well. Uh, like Matt mentioned, uh, Black Friday and Cyber Mo uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday uh, just passed, but I mean there's still sales going on throughout the week. A lot of places uh, you know do it throughout the whole month of November into December as well. Uh, so my three that I got, uh, they're not the the fanciest gifts. Uh, but they're very, um, I think they're, they're very useful for, uh, you know, when you're stuck in a, a pickle or uh, when you need, um, when you need uh, these type of solutions. So uh, first off, um, I actually own uh, the, the, one of the gifts that I have here um, on my list. Um, so I am not only a president, I am also a client. Um, but this is called the, uh, the NoCo. Uh, Boost Plus GB40. Now, have you ever been uh, stuck on the side of a road? Oh, yeah. uh, your car dies, you left the light on, uh, you're in a parking lot. Uh, if you're at home, maybe it's a little uh, easier because you, uh, you got other cars, right, mm -hmm. that you could use to jumpstart your car. But this device, man, is a lifesaver. Um, see how small and compact it is? I had a, um, a version of this before, and it was a big battery. You had to lug it around. It was so heavy. But now, I mean, they, they make them so much smaller now. And the beauty of this is you do not need another car. You don't need another person, um, you know, to kind of uh, park next to you, the long jumper cables. Um, I've had experience. So, I mean, if you, I want to hear your guys' story. So go in the comments section and let us know what is, uh, if you ever had, uh, you've been stuck with a dead battery and uh, the horror stories that you might have. Because um, I did have one where I had to actually uh, push start my car. Oh, um, I have a manual transmission car <laughs> and there was no one around. So, oh my goodness, um, that is not fun. I mean, it was fun in the sense that I've never done it before and I always <laughs> wanted to push start my car to see if it worked. Um, and it tried, we, I had somebody, I found someone to help me push the car because you have to push it, get it up to a certain amount of speed and then so you have to have a driver to pop it in into gear. Yeah. So, oh man, so uh, that was such a hassle. But this guy, uh, no, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's very safe. Um, it, there's a, um, it comes with, you know, a short um, uh, jumper cables uh, that are, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, proof. It's um, like it won't. It won't matter if you you uh, you know. Uh, have the wrong connections like uh it, there's it's very safe to use uh it'll jump start your car you can uh, it'll work as a flashlight uh emergency uh you know road assistance <laughs> um you can uh even with uh basic de uh, devices you can you can hook up your phone uh whatnot but the main use is obviously uh your car so mm -hmm. this uh man, is a very light area this is number one on my list uh, number two uh, is kind of uh, related to that. It is the Anchor um, 737 power bank. So if you want to charge, um, you know, devices, you can use the uh, the NoCo uh, um, um, car starter if you want, but uh, that's kind of overkill. So <laughs> so something like the Anchor is perfect for uh, travelers. Um, if you're, um, you know, if you, you know, I've seen a lot of power banks out there before that could charge your phone, laptops, mm -hmm. and whatnot. So this one is a little larger than uh, the other typical ones, but there's not many like this one that can charge a uh, MacBook Pro yeah. uh, up to 50% in as little as 40 minutes. Yeah, so and they, they do very, make a big uh, difference. Very strong, very efficient, um, and uh, yeah, has cool uh, digital uh, displays. Uh, this is perfect for, um, you know, the tech, uh, the tech, um, you know, a colleague or a, a partner that um, is always uh, traveling. And, um, and like for me, like I have a laptop, actually, that it's an older laptop um, mm -hmm. and the battery, it doesn't hold the charge uh, a lot. Oh, uh, it doesn't hold the charge as long. So um, this would be very useful for me. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know, it could go out, uh, you know, if there's no power plugs on the road. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, and last but not least. Um, I have on my list is called the iFixit Pro 
Tech uh, Toolkit. Now, um, this is perfect for if uh, I've had to change, like uh, uh, I've tried to change uh, my iPhone uh, cracked screen. Um, well, I ended up not because it, it's so uh, you need a suction cup, you need mm -hmm. to pry it. Uh, so this thing comes with uh, 64 um, uh, uh, screw uh, screwdriver bits, not just uh, smartphones. It does any type of electronics uh, devices. Like if you have a blender, um, it has uh, you know uh, compatible with that. It has uh, compatibility with uh, the newest iPhones. Uh, they have some weird screws on on new gen, next gen um, Apple devices. So it'll work on those. Mm -hmm. um, just so many, uh, so many other uh, like uh, watches. Uh, <laughs> I've scratched up the back end of my watches trying to pry open the, uh, the battery door. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this thing uh, will handle it all. Um, and uh, the best part is a uh, lifetime warranty. So um, any of you, you know, any of your tools uh, go missing or uh, gets uh, damaged or whatever, they back it with a lifetime warranty. Yeah. And, so and um, yeah, yeah. They, uh, so like I said, like my three gifts are not the fanciest, but it, they are very practical, and uh, it would be very useful for, uh, especially like for if you're. It's hard to shop for like my brother. He's he's a very tech guy. He has all the tech uh, gadgets already. So every birthday, Christmas, so hard to to, to shop for him. But something like more, a little less. Uh, um. Uh, you know, a little less uh, conventional, uh, but more uh, like, you know, practical, uh, practical daily uses, uh, something like this would be yeah. something that would be good. So, yeah. Um, yeah. so that's what I have on my three. Um, I'm sure uh, I know Trayvon got uh, a lot of more higher end, some cool stuff. So uh, <laughs> let's go listen to, to what he has. Yeah, to share. I have a couple of good ones. But first, I want to mention you seem to be a practical gifter. Uh -huh. So do you prefer practical gifts? Or do you like to you know have a little mix here and there of like, very thoughtful gifts, something sweet. Um, yeah, I'm more like. Uh, I mean, I do appreciate the uh, like the, the expensive, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, you know, like uh, high tech gifts, right? But then, yeah, I, I guess I'm more of a uh, like very uh, like you wouldn't because like some of these gifts is kind of like uh, you wouldn't think of get, getting somebody, but I mean, like there's so many uh, uses, you know, that it can help you out. So yeah. um, I do appreciate the the, the more smaller practical. Um, uh, you know, type type stuff. So yeah, yeah, appreciate that. So what I have is the Google Pixel Buds Pro and the all-in-one coffee and uh, espresso maker. So first off, I'm going with the Google Pixel Buds Pro. And these gifts for me are a bit selfish because I need these right now. Uh, I broke my headphones and I broke my coffee maker. <laughs> so <laughs> the Google Pixel, Pixel Buds Pro, uh, you, you got the first two basic uh, um, features, which is uh, noise canceling and Bluetooth. But the three that stand out to me are water resistant, built-in mic, and then the built-in Google Assistant. Now, someone who wears earbuds when I like to cook, when I like to clean, when I like to work, get messy, I need water resistance. Uh, I can't count the amount of times I've dropped my earbuds in the toilet uh, while I clean the toilet. <laughs> Have you? You have. Yes. <laughs> That's what I always am scared of doing. That's why I, I always you know, take them off, or I make sure I'm wearing like a like a uh, like a hood or something so if yeah. it falls out it goes into my sweater i think we just need to like real quick like just acknowledge the amount of courage it takes to admit that on stream <laughs> <laughs> and actually the last time i dropped my earbuds are we on air toilet, right now no. i just yeah. stared into the toilet for a bit i thought about getting them out then i flushed the toilet and just walked out the back oh man <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not digging in there um <laughs> Yeah, so the next uh, feature of these Google Pixel Buds Pro, uh, built-in mic. Uh, most earbuds have built-in mics. We all, we all know uh, Google Pixel or Google is like a master in software and having very immersive audio. So I'm uh, pretty sure the mic is like amazing with this uh, with these uh, Pixel Pixel Buds. Um, and last but not least is the built-in Google Assistant. Uh, someone who likes to cook. Uh, a lot of the times, you know, when you want to set the timer, if you want to ask a question about the recipe, it's nice to just like tap your headphones and ask a question, especially if you're like, cutting chicken or cutting meat or you have your hands wet or messy, uh -huh. you can't pull out your phone and you know, be typing in Google um, while you're trying to like cook and uh, before you like wash your hands or something. Mm -hmm. So like that feature is amazing to me. Um, and then we have the all-in-one coffee and espresso maker. Um, and I think this says it all. It's a coffee and espresso maker. 
I feel like coffee drinkers, everyone has two moods, right? You, like you have like the days you want coffee and the days you need coffee. So like the days you want coffee, you can make yourself a nice cup of coffee, but if you need it, you have the espresso maker. Um, and then the second uh, feature of this is the advanced milk frother for cappuccinos and lattes. Mm -hmm. um, so what I usually do if I want like a frothy cup of coffee now is I will grab my milk cart and I'll just shake it <laughs> aggressively <laughs> and just pour it straight in. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, that's the way that, oh, that way I can get like some bubbles some froth on top. Uh, but the, uh, Fancy. yeah, the froth make the uh, milk frother, uh, especially uh, if you want to spice things up, you don't want a black cup of coffee, just um, hit the little button and there you go. Also comes with the glass coffee pot, digital touch screen, uh, user friendly. This is very important, especially those mornings um, where you just out of it. Uh, you have the digital touch screen, all the settings are there. Just swipe through, uh, click through whatever you need to uh, adjust your settings. Uh, speaking of like settings and special features that you can swipe through is you can customize preferred flavor and the aroma of your coffee with this machine. So mm -hmm. you can adjust the levels you want. Like if you, do you like dark roast or medium roast, light roast? Um, like medium, yeah, uh, like medium, not too, uh, I mean, I'll take a dark. Um. I, I don't really need all the sugar. I know a lot of people like so much sugar and, and yeah. stuff, but um, yeah, like medium to dark. Yeah, I usually do medium, dark. Um, I can't stand light roast. It's really watered down. Mm. Um, let us know in the comments if you're a dark roast, medium roast, or um, light roast type of person. Those would be perfect for uh, our really office, a coffee actually. drinker. Everybody's, I know, everybody. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but if it looks anything like that picture that's uh, being shown right here, <laughs> you know, I might have to reconsider. On on a side note, Ronald Guerrero, how you doing, buddy? We're glad to have you on the stream. Oh, hey, Ron. Having a wonderful holiday season. Uh, let's go ahead and keep this rolling. Sorry to interrupt you guys. So that's that's just about everything that we were going to talk about. That's that's our picks for the holidays, right? Yep, that's just about it. All right. So uh, with that being said, I think that's a great point to pivot uh, and kind of address something that is a little bit more geared towards the professional end of the market uh, and something that I think goes really, really unsung as far as what a great gift idea would be. And that's going to be capture devices, capture devices and capture cards. Uh, BZB Gear, we have a few of them. We'll probably show a few of them here in a little bit but there's a myriad of reasons as to why you might want to look into picking one up. Number one, they're, they're really not all that expensive. Uh, but number two, like they, they honestly, um, they give you a whole lot of benefits. So let's go ahead and cover a few of those benefits right now. Uh, the first is going to be that it's a device that enables you to stream or record your video and audio from another source. Uh, what that means is that allows for things like a camera, like a DSLR, a nice uh, DSLR, or whatnot, uh, maybe even a, a console, a game console, to have that image that's being shown through that be routed to a computer to be recorded or streamed. And it's very, very useful because that means that you can remove extra strain from the computer that you're using to either uh, game on or do testing on. And like I kind of mentioned before with these components, uh, one of the really cool things is, is when you're benchmarking something like this to see how effective it is, and you're, you're recording the screen on the same uh, computer, that actually removes some of the headroom that you have for that component, and it will affect the performance. So having something like a capture card means that you're removing that extra overhead that's being used, which means you actually get the true performance of that component, which is a really, really cool thing. Uh, there's, there's a lot of people that uh, could really benefit from that where that's their entire job is they tell you how good a component is or how good something performs. So that's one way that you can use this. And another way is also streaming. So if you're doing streaming uh, and you can remove a little bit more of strain from the computer that you're um, streaming on, that means it's just going to run generally better. And you're usually going to get a little bit of a better stream out of it as well. But uh, while we're talking about this, I just want to stress that these like capture cards aren't just useful for streaming. Um, one of the really cool things that you can use is you can use them for broadcasting. So th those are just a few of the benefits. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you guys if you want to pitch in a little bit uh, about capture cards. 
Um, oh, well, yes, again. So, I mean, with capture cards, we are still doing a giveaway. So if we get enough viewers, everybody tell your friends, your colleagues, your neighbors, uh, we are giving away an HDMI capture card today, B-G-C-A-P-H-A. -A. All right. So, um, but yeah, I mean, just like uh, Matthew, uh, Matt, uh, you know, said that it's, it's great for, um, uh, you know, like streaming um, from devices to, you know, if you're a gamer, if, uh, you know, you're a live streamer like this with some cameras set up. Um, I mean, there's so many different versions as well. Um, there's an a SDI to HDMI. That's one of the, uh, um, uh, uh, one of the uh, most basic, uh, you know, conversions that you want to use. A lot of cameras are SDI. People use SDI. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you, you can use SDI cameras, use a, um, you know, converter, and then hook that up to your HDMI, um, you know, uh, video switcher. Um, and it's great for live uh, production, um, you know, feeds and, and solutions like that. And this is, this is HDMI to USB 3.0. So USB 10.0, I mean 2.0 and 3.0, there's a large difference. 3.0 is a lot faster than 2.0. So this is actually a lot faster than a lot of standard uh, capture cards you're going to see on like Amazon or like the cheaper ones you're going to see. This is actually 3.0 HDMI to USB 3.0, 10 times faster. It's going to transmit your video data uh, at higher speeds. So you're going to have a smoother experience. So definitely something, uh, even if you don't find it useful for yourself, uh, maybe you can uh, refer it to a friend or gift it to someone else for the yep. holidays. And uh, yeah, you are going to want to chime in and try to get this today. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned you mentioned SDI, and that's kind of something that I want to pivot into, specifically with capture cards. Uh, something that a lot of people don't really think about in regards to capture cards um, is the fact that you can go SDI to HDMI or SDI to USB. Um, so kind of like we touched on, it's not just for getting um, like suitable streaming quality or suitable gameplay capture. What a lot of this these devices can also be used for is... Um, using it in the professional broadcast world. So uh, one of the ways that I've actually had these devices used um, is using them basically essentially as converters. So you can take a camera, for example, like the uh, Blackmagic um, Pocket 4K cinema camera, because they have an SDI output, you can basically, uh, or, or an S HDMI output, you can take the HDMI into this and then uh, use it into another switcher for example. So it works both ways. Um, it's one of the really, really cool things about these devices is you can take it and say, take SDI to HDMI into your HDMI video switcher for a live production environment. Um, so that also means you can use it in a, another professional capacity and that's going to be using it in conference rooms, right guys? So like one of the cool things is you could take a, a high-end DSLR and if you and if you really really wanted to have like really high end quality uh, video in your um, your uh, meetings, you could essentially turn a high end DSLR with an HDMI uh, output into a webcam. So that's that's another really cool thing that you can do with these. So um, those are a few reasons why you might want to consider a capture card for uh, the holiday season. But uh, we're going to talk about some of the advantages of BZB gear capture cards. So I see we have a few of them on the table there. So uh, let's go ahead and run through them a bit. Um, yep. Uh, so from left to right, uh, let's see, we have the, uh, the BGC2HA. Uh, this one, uh, they're all pretty much um, like HDMI. This one is an HDMI. Uh, you have the uh, BGHAVS HDMI streaming um, encoder, uh, the Cap HA. Uh, the little guy is the is our 4K CH. We um, have the BGCSA. Yep. Yes, the one is I believe uh, USB 3.0 to SDI. Mm. That's mm -hmm. the one we we're talking about. Yep. Um, again, so. And then, I mean, uh, so with ours, uh, very competitively uh, priced, 
Um, uh, but also, I mean, the reason why you would want to go with, uh, you know, BZB gear uh, products is uh, not just for the product, but also um, the, uh, the team that stands behind it. Uh, you know, customer service, uh, tech support, uh, you know, we have three year warranty um, on these guys, as well as lifetime uh, product support. So if you guys ever have issues in the field, uh, something's not working, you don't know how to set it up. Uh, our, our tech guys here are, um, are uh, superb and uh, they know what they're doing and happy, um, happy to, to help you guys, assist you guys. Absolutely. Uh, our, our tech support team is awesome. Just to be clear, uh, all of those options that are on the table there, uh, they're pretty much all 1080p. Uh, we offer both 3G, SDI, and HDMI options, but there is one special one on there, and that is going to be that little one that Joel is pointing to right there, and that is going to be our 4K option. We do actually offer a UHD option for our capture device, so uh, if you are interested in 4K uh, capture, we have a solution for that. Uh, mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of, um, no, there, there aren't a whole lot of solutions on the market that will do UHD as far as capture devices are concerned. So uh, being able to distinguish ourselves a little bit there is is a nice uh, extra step. So uh, I think that just about covers it for capture cards, but it looks like we have a few other things on the table as well. Joel and Trayvon, do you guys want to kind of run through those? Uh, it looks like they might be kind of following the same idea of some other gift ideas that BZB gear might offer for this season. Um, yeah. So, I mean, on the, on the front uh, row here on the both ends, we have um, uh, video conference solutions, uh, speaker phones, um, speaker phone and mics. Uh, very, uh, very good. Uh, the range is, is, is um, I think it's like five meters. The other one is four. I think this one's five meters. Um, but then, yeah, so we have speaker phones in the back. We have uh, webcams as well. So we don't just sell like the high end, um, uh, you know, broadcast level uh, PTZ cameras. We do have high quality uh, webcams as well um, for uh, the one on the end is the four, the UH 4K. So mm -hmm. that's a 4K webcam um, and then uh, 1080p if you want a uh, simple plug and play, you know, they're USB. So just plug it into your laptop. Uh, boom, you're ready to go. Uh, video, audio, uh, and whatnot. Um, again, three-year warranty on these guys, uh, lifetime product support. Um, so, yeah, so whether you have a, a you know, broadcast level uh, live stream or just, um, you know, simple, um, you know, you want high quality uh, video conferencing, um, we have you covered there. Yeah, and one of my personal favorites is the VGU CMHD, this camera right there. And this is perfect for college students, especially as someone who just graduated. Uh, there were so many presentations I did where I would have to get up and be interactive and like, the uh, audience couldn't hear me or they couldn't see me or clearly and I'd have to restart or I'd get a bad grade. And if you have a college student in your life or just a high school student who does a lot of online or hybrid uh, classwork, you're going to want to get that one for them. Uh, integrated mount, easy to mount on top of the laptop or wherever they need to mount it built-in omnidirectional microphone, very, very useful. There's plenty of times when I've gotten up and stood away from my laptop and just could have angled it up so it captured me perfectly. Mm. And, you know, I did my thing, performed very well. And when I would go sit back down, the professor and everyone would say, hey, we couldn't hear you. you know, you're <laughs> moving around or you're kind of standing a bit far away. Can you do it again? Um, so yeah, omnidirectional microphone, built-in, so it's perfect for your students, uh, USB 2.0 plug and play functionality. Just plug it right in, uh, do what you gotta do. Uh, it's perfect since it has the integrated mount, just mount it, plug it, do what you have to do. Uh, when you're done, you just take it right off. Um, and it's portable. So once you're done with it, you just put it away in the suitcase or your book bag, and you're off to the next class. You're off to the next thing that you have to do, and it's perfect. Uh, I would recommend it. I wish I knew uh, what this week here was when I was uh, starting college. Uh, so I could have picked that little device up and it would have saved me uh, a lot of time and probably saved my grades. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, I, I didn't have to deal with any of that uh, with the, the whole COVID thing, uh, with having uh, all of these classes moved online. But that is a good idea, uh, specifically in this day and age with a whole lot of higher education moving towards uh, mm -hmm. The, the whole online learning environment, having a, a good webcam and a good presentation solution is 
probably not a bad idea for uh, some students to consider about asking for uh, for the holidays. So I think that just about covers everything that uh, we had for the holiday gift ideas. Uh, we hope you guys have a good holiday season. And uh, we look forward to covering a few more topics with you before the end of the year. But uh, did you gentlemen have anything else you wanted to add? Uh, no, just, um, yeah, I mean, we're going to have one more sh uh, live stream in about uh, two weeks. So uh, just two show, um, two two episodes uh, this month. So, um, um, yeah, just uh, wishing everyone uh, early, um, you know, Christmas or holiday, um, uh, holiday season. Uh, winter is coming up. It's still fall, but, I mean, it, it is starting to feel like winter. Uh, we're getting some rain here uh, in California, so that's good. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, a few more weeks of fall, so hope, hopefully uh, everybody, uh, you know, stay safe, stay warm. Um, and, yeah, just best wishes. Yeah, and uh, keep tuning in. Uh, every milestone we hit, we're going to be giving away um, one of our products today. We are hoping to give away this um, capture card here. Yeah, we're still trying to give it away. I mean, if we yeah. can, I don't know if we're going to reach our uh, our viewer count for this episode, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, we have that. We have um, oh, we have even have a t cool t-shirts. Um, I mean, maybe we could give away at least a t-shirt today um, for we have a few comments in the room. So um, yeah, maybe we can, we'll scour and um, we can give away um, a t-shirt. I get, oh, ro um, yeah, Ronald, Ronald Guerrero. <laughs> right, yeah, Ronald, I guess Ronald uh, um, deserves the uh, free giveaway today. It, it is not the uh, cool, ever so cool HDMI capture card, but it is still a uh, cool gift. Um, it's a, uh, you can wear it for a gym. It's one of those uh, wick proof, uh, sweat proof uh, type, uh, you know, uh, shirts. So, um, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think that just about covers it. Thank you guys for tuning in again, and we will see you all on the next broadcast. And I think we might just have a guest from outside the company. So we'll see you guys next time.